Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I'm so excited to be bringing God's truth to you this new week. Praise God. God has great plans for your life. And guess what? He is walking around the clock to make sure that that great life he has for you, you will see it. Now, before we go into today's broadcast, let's do what the Lord commanded us to do on this broadcast every day. Are you ready to call for your daily bread? Say this when you say, Father, I receive today my daily bread. It's coming to me now in Jesus' name. Amen. And Father, we honor you today for this opportunity to bring forth your truth. Holy Spirit, you will guide our tongue, guide our hearts in understanding. And I declare right now, burdens have been lifted, yokes have been destroyed by the power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Now listen, I said God has great plans for you. And he is walking around the clock to see to it that you fulfill that great plan that he has for you. Why should he have a plan and don't see it come to pass? Even, even you, if you have some great plans and then for some reason you don't see that plan coming to pass, you will feel sad, you will feel so good with yourself. So how much more God? Praise God. Now that's what gives us an assurance that God will fulfill his word. But you see, he has created a system and if we abide by the system or get into his system, we will see the blessing of God work in our lives. You remember God told Joshua, I think I read it last week, Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, God told him, he says, This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate therein day and night. Now, when God told Joshua that, when God gave him that instruction, already we all know that God will make sure that the book of the law he was talking about, which is his word, will be made available to Joshua. He won't talk about something you cannot access. So he says, this book of law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, so that you will observe to do according to everything that is written. And he now said, then, not us, when you allow the word of God to fill your mouth and fill your heart, that means you will just realize that you are doing the word. You, that's, you are observing to do the word. Whatever situation comes around you, you will do the word. It says when you are in that place, then you will make your way prosper. I love how he put it. You will make your way prosperous. It doesn't matter the economy of the situation or the, the economy of the state, the economy of the nation where you find yourself. It is you that will make that way of yours prosperous. It doesn't matter whether you have some terrible people in government. It doesn't matter whether everyone around you is so corrupt and wicked. You are the one that will make your way prosperous. You are the one that will make your way prosperous. No one is going to do it for you. He didn't say you shall receive prayer that will make your way prosperous. He says, no, you, you, you. When you allow the word to fill your heart and your mouth, he says, you will make your way prosperous. Meaning my prosperity is in my hands. Mm. Your prosperity is in your hands. You will make your way. He didn't say you will find the prosperous way. You know, this, this is how you meditate on God's word. It is that you will find a prosperous way. It is that you will be led into a prosperous way. It is that you will make your way prosperous. I don't know how you think of God's truth. I don't know how you think of God's word. Now, when you find out that he says something that concludes with a statement like this, that you will make your way prosperous. And the question is, 
do you want to make your way prosperous yes you want to make your way prosperous everybody wants to make their way prosperous. no matter what you're involved with no matter how small or how big you want to see that thing prosper you see you want to see your life prosper you want to see your health flourish and prosper you just want to make advancement you want to make progress in life in everything that you do so he now lists out something and tells you that if you do this you will make your way prosperous allowing the word of god to sink inside of you allowing his truth to dwell and keep your heart in him you will make your way prosperous if you are not prospering it's nobody's fault if you are not prospering it's not the fault of that person that refused to give you capital for you to do that business if you are not prospering it's not because you did not go to school it's not because your parents were too poor and they couldn't send you to good school if you are not prospering it's not because the enemies are too much that they are stopping you from passing no and he says you will make your way i love the construction of that you will make your way your way you know we, we looked into Josh, joseph's life and we found out from scriptures that joseph was already a successful man even as a slave in potiphar's life potiphar had to notice that whatever this guy does god blesses it but if I took knowledge of it, and of course, you know what happened afterwards. Envy, jealousy came because of the blessing. Now, sometime in the week, we're going to talk about standing firm and living in the blessing or the prosperity that you have found. Now, to prosper means to make progress in whatever you do. To make real progress, not false progress, not, not fake progress. Real progress. You know, I, 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 you know, listen. Making progress. The yardstick to which we measure our progress is God's word. What has God said concerning your life? What has God said is the vision of your life? If you haven't found out out yet, then you see what you lack is direction. And if you don't have direction, how then do you make your way prosperous? So first and foremost is to find the Lord, what is the vision for my life? What is the vision for everything that you're involved with? Try to know even before you get into it. Lord, what's your vision? What do you want to see? in this situation what do you want to see in this environment and the spirit of god begin to open your understanding that you may see that you may see and when you see and begin to walk in it then everyone will begin to notice that there is something just different about you and that's the same way potiphar began to notice joseph there's just something different about this guy everyone around you will begin to recognize that and see and guess what that's going to open the door of favor for you it doesn't mean challenges will not come but you see god who is a faithful god will always make sure and see to it that you overcome every challenge that is thrown at you in order that you may make your way prosperous that you may have good success he wants to see that so he orchestrates everything that's going to come your way he orchestrates it nothing just happened to the life of a child of god nothing 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 I mean, to the least, even if you don't hear the voice of God, if you don't hear God speak to you clearly like some of us do, there is still a way he communicates with you. And if you pay attention, you will see, you will know that way. And you are going to begin to walk accordingly. Now, listen, when God 
speaks to you, and, and I want you to get this, when God speaks to you, he educates your mind, he educates your being. So when you take his words that he has taught you and begin to apply it in your day-to-day -day living, that's when things will begin to open up for you. And then that's really when you will understand what it means by making your way prosperous. But there is one rule. You are ruled by God's truth. You are ruled by God's word. Now, there are times you may not even understand which way to go because you see, it, it matters how you've been trained. If you've not been trained properly in the things of the Lord, if you've not been trained properly, if you've not been trained properly in God's word, you can easily be swept off your feet. Sometimes people throw arguments at you. And let me tell you this truth for a child of God, if you're a child of God. Now, you know, someone asks you a question, and I have not studied that thing before, I have to go and study it. No matter how nice that sounds, do you know that you have the Holy Spirit there with you who could have given you information about that thing that you asked? And his job, Jesus said he will not just teach you he will guide you into all truth you know what that means he's going to take you by the hand and lead you through that darkness until you find the light listen there is no one whom god have created that he created for doom no one there is something about you that yearns for prosperity, that yearns for progress. And, and that thing is a godly thing. If you are going to pay attention and allow, allow, like he told us, allow patience to have her perfect work in you. Calm down. Don't be in a hurry. Don't be in competition with anyone. Allow patience to have her perfect work in you. How do you do that? Relax and find what is around you that you can do by yourself. You have a project you want to start it with, with, with tens and, and hundreds of millions, but you don't even have one million in your account. But you believe this is a project that the Lord has commanded you to. Then, okay, fine. Never struggle over it. Sit down. Allow God. Listen, let him open the door. He says, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask. So ask the Lord for wisdom. And then start from where you are. Start from what you can do. Because sometimes it comes precept, being upon precept, line being upon line. So you are the first stage. You are the first precept. Do the one you know now. Because it shows faith. It shows that you believe. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm going to be sharing with you this week on. We, 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 we talked about making the blessing, positioning for blessing. We're going to continue and, and focusing more on how God is positioning you for that blessing and the things that comes with it. Praise God. My time is up today. I want to pray for you right now. I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This week, there are doors that are opening up to you that you will be indeed positioned for good. The Spirit of God is opening ancient doors that have been shut, but this season is opening them up and he's doing that for you. Therefore, you shall arise and walk into those doors and your life shall bring him glory. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, God bless you. Bye.